Hello everybody! This video will show you how to create a VPN server on a Windows computer and how to connect to such server from another PC. Such VPN server can be used for anonymous browsing the web as the real IP address is concealed, to bypass the blocks set by the network administrator or restrictions of the Internet provider, to encrypt the transmitted data, to access blocked websites from your country, to enable downloading files from P2P networks such as torrents, and to protect your computer when connecting to free Wi-Fi. Certainly, if you need to VPN to bypass blocking of some websites by your provider, or just to hide your IP address when surfing the web, you don't have to set up a VPN server. You can use ready-made services instead. You can learn more from another video. Find the link in the description. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. So, create a VPN server on your computer. Go to Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings. In the folder Network Connections, press Alt button and select File – New Incoming Connection. Check the box next to the username to allow this user to access this computer and network. Other computers will connect here through VPN. Next. Check the box next to the option Through the Internet. Next. In this window, don't change anything and click Allow Access. Now the VPN server is created. Now let's imagine that this computer will work as a kind of server. Let's create a folder to which other computers will have access through VPN. Make it shared. To do it, right-click on it, Properties, Sharing, Advanced Sharing. Check the box next to Share this folder. Then click on Permission and allow full control. Apply. OK. Now let's move on to the computer of an imaginary user who needs to connect to this freshly created VPN server and get access to the folder. In order to connect to the VPN server, open Settings, Network and Internet, VPN, add a VPN connection. When you open the connection settings menu, choose the VPN provider as Windows built-in. Connection name – Any. You will see this name in the list of other network connections. Server name or address – in this field enter the IP address or name of the computer where the VPN server is connected. Now that's why we are back to the server to learn its IP address. There are several ways to do it. For example, you can go to the website 2ip.ru or you can ask your network administrator. Enter it into the field server name or address. VPN type – automatic. In the fields Username and Password, you should enter the name and password of the account which is active on the server computer. I mean the user, next to which you check the box while creating the VPN server. After that, click Save and you will see that a VPN connection is ready. To use it to connect to our VPN server, click on it and select Connect. Sometimes, when connecting, you can see an error saying a connection to the remote computer could not be established. You might need to change the network settings for this connection. In this case, you should modify the incoming connection settings in the server computer. To be exact, specify the pool of possible connected IP addresses. To do it, go to the server computer, 
Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings. Right click on Incoming Connection, Properties, Networking, IPv4 Properties. Check the box next to Specify IP Address and enter the pool of addresses. You can use any, but you can't enter only one. OK. OK. After that, go back to the computer trying to connect and try again. Now the computer is connected to the VPN server. Go to Network Connections and you will see your fresh new connection you have just created, with the name you have assigned to it while creating. In order to get access to the shared folder in the computer, which is the VPN server, run the command ipconfig on the computer where you created the VPN server and find the IP address of the VPN network that you created or ask the administrator of this network. After that, open Explorer in the user's computer and enter this IP address into the address field putting two backslashes before the address. If nothing happens, the problem might be in the firewall settings of the server computer. That is why in this case go to the VPN server computer. When you are there, go to Control Panel, Windows Firewall, Advanced Settings. Go to Inbound Rules and find the rule named NetLogon Service NP in. Click on it. As you can see, it is disabled. Turn it on. Now go to the client computer and try accessing the shared folder in the server computer again. Enter the user password for the VPN server. Here is the folder we have shared before. I have just shown you how to connect directly to the computer which is a VPN server. But if it, is if it is connected to a network through a router, you have to set up forwarding for port 1723. This is how you do it. Go to the settings of the router through which the VPN computer server is connected to the network. In one of my previous videos, I have shown it in detail. You will find the link in the description below as usual. Go to the menu Forwarding, Virtual Servers, Add New. I have already set up forwarding in my computer, that's why I'll show it on my example. Enter the service port 1723. IP address – address of the computer where the VPN server will be created. In our case, it is… How can you learn it? There are several ways to do it. One of them – enter the command ipconfig in the command prompt. We need the IPv4 address of the main network adapter. It's usually the first on the list. The two other in my case are the virtual machine adapters. Protocol all status enabled. Save. Some routers need to be restarted after that. That's all. As a result, inbound VPN connections will be redirected to this PC. And the last. After the VPN connection is ready, the client computer will be disconnected from the Internet. To make sure it still has access to the Internet when the VPN connection is active, do the following. When the VPN is disconnected, go to Network Connections of the client computer. Right-click on the created VPN connection and select Properties, Networking, IPv4, Properties, Advanced. In the tab IP settings, uncheck the box next to Use default gateway in remote network. That is all. 
Next time when you connect to the Internet, the connection will not be lost. In the process of creating a VPN connection, some additional issues may appear – errors or failures. They can't be covered in one short video, as there are so many settings. If you have any questions, leave a comment to ask one. That is all for now. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below, subscribe to Hackman Software channel, thank you for watching and good luck!